Hey everyone, I'm back at you with another video. Uh, just want to show you guys this case, kind of run through how it was done and what exactly was done. This case is a diagnostic wax up. It's a full mouth reconstruction. The objective was to get everything right with the upper jaw, uh, the occlusal plane, the aesthetics, the midline, uh, so on and so forth. And then uh, the lower jaw is going to be uh, an immediate denture that's sort of adapted to the occlusal plane of the upper jaw. So the main objective was to uh, get the upper jaw as ideal as possible. And to do this, uh, I requested pre-op photos as well as pre-op scans. So you can see we've got the upper jaw and the lower jaw, and that is what we virtually prepped. And I'll, I'll show you guys that in just a minute. But along with that was, uh, again, the pre-op scans of the upper and lower jaw. So, you know, when it comes time to virtually prep the upper jaw, we still have a reference for where these teeth were positioned originally and uh, proportions, length and whatnot that we can also reference. So uh, I'll take away the upper jaw, bring this back to the facial view. And you can see that if I remove the restorations, these are all virtually prepped. And when, you, when you're doing a full mouth case like this, you kind of lose sight of where everything's naturally positioned, what the patient is used to uh, as far as function and, and bite and whatnot. But um, you know, everything was provided, so it was pretty straightforward and all downhill. Uh, after everything was virtually prepped, which is pretty much, a, you could, you know, my method, I use the, the replace tool. I go around all the teeth and then, um, you know, by, uh, overlaying the pre-op scan I can then uh, accurately mark the margins and get a get a realistic emergence from you know from the uh, pre-op scan so uh, we wanted to lengthen these and in the pre-op photos it's pretty obvious that they need to be lengthened uh, we also the the original teeth were somewhat canted and that was also due to uh, uneven wear of the teeth but that was all squared away and I mean, other than that, uh, we removed a little bit of bulkiness and because of the wear that this patient had, uh, we went into the uh, articulation parameters, opened up the pin about a millimeter, 1.2 millimeters. And that just allowed for a lot more room to improve the aesthetics uh, and whatnot. But overall, very happy with this case. Um, and you know, if you, if you did get anything from this, video i'm trying to keep it short here uh just whenever you're you're assigning a wax up to someone uh, it's always best to include or even if you're doing it yourself just make sure to include a pre-op scan so that there's still references because after that stuff's virtually prepped the natural teeth are virtually prepped you kind of lose sight of all that so always include pre-op scans always and um you know everything should should come out pretty accurate uh pretty predictable but I'll give you guys another view of this and how well it turned out. Um, just really nice, really nice case. You can see that there's a pretty dramatic overbite, but um, you know you can only do so much with Crown and Bridge. Um, I don't know what it would take to get that. You know, maybe maybe Ortho to get that taken care of, but that's beside the point. Uh, you know, wax up's good to go. And then from here, you know, everything would just be virtually seated. All these crowns would be virtually seated, uh, converted to an STL file and uh, nested in some sort of slicer software and then goes onto the 3D printer. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on, on how this is all done, uh, if you're interested in um, trying out this workflow digitally, I know a lot of you out there are uh, maybe shy or uh, don't wanna don't want to dive into digital wax ups, but they really are impressive. The results are pretty, uh, pretty accurate, pretty predictable. Um, but yeah, if you, you have any questions or you're just uh, interested, uh, feel free to comment below. If you're on YouTube, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out content pretty frequently for, for you guys to, um, you know, digest and, and learn from. But uh, anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.